How are we? Your girl Savvy Spice is off to Southampton. Let's go. Hey, you. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Savannah, but I'm Erin and I go by Savvy C. And welcome or welcome back to Savvy C Scoop. Hi, guys, I'm here. I made it too. Can you see it over there? I don't know. So, yep, it's the show, darling. Four minutes early. I said, okay, not going to show it off for me. It was beautiful coming in. I'm excited. And I didn't tell you guys the best part about coming to Southampton and why I decided to. It's a call that invited me. It's also Tori. I was saying she wants to get filmed. But she invited me. She said I could stay with her for the weekend. I was saying, girl, stay with us. I'm pulling out. So Sammy Spice Tour has extended to Southampton uh, because of her. So yeah, I'm about to go meet up with her now. And then we're going to hang out for the weekend. I'm going to take you guys, of course, along with me. See what she's doing again. Had some breakfast, met with my girl Toys, had a good reunion with her this weekend. And after we got dressed, ready for the day, our first stop was the John Hansard Gallery. Really interesting, really cool, free for the public. And what I loved is that all of this artwork is done by current inmates. So really interesting to see. That's made out of soap, guys. Really insightful. Then we made it to the gates. Okay, so A, look who I have here with me. Hello! <laughs> Hello, love. <laughs> Hello, love. B. Yeah. Look who's behind us. Look who's behind us. So, once you walk through this gate. Yeah, I'm not official yet, guys. I'm, yes. I'm halfway. I'm She's not through. yet. Yeah. Pass it through. <laughs> we have to go under this and then officially. She's a Southampton. South, I'm a South, South Side girl. <laughs> South Side girl. But guess who's here? Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got two walls. These are what was it again, Tori? The the city walls, right? Yeah, the city These walls. are the city walls, guys. <laughs> Believe it or not, as an out for us, I'm holding off for dear life because why is this so rickety? <laughs> I was like, is that the creeks of the? <laughs> okay, it was fun. We should have stayed on land. Yeah. yeah we... <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna take the scenic route. Right, I know. <laughs> So you can blame me. <laughs> no, that's it. Look, we even did it. But we made it. Woohoo! <laughs> Back to modern <laughs> architecture. <laughs> Love that for us. A fashionable resort. Okay, cute. Next stop was the West Quay. West K Shop is there? Correct me in the comments. This was this huge structure. And it was really cool to see the stark dichotomy between these ancient ruins the city walls back when like roman empire was really roman empiring versus this huge modern day shopping complex i mean this was a proper proper mall then i got some auntie Anne's, it was so good and then had turtle bay guys why ain't nobody tell me about turtle bay why am i finding out this long after being this late, after being in the UK, so so good. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> It literally feels like you're on a holiday when you walk in there, which is probably the, the vibe. I got mac and cheese with your chicken. It, ooh, I can still taste it now. So, so good. Then I went to sleep and got ready for day two. Morning, day two. This was a Sunday, so we got dressed, got ready, got just the hair a little bit and this sunday was cool because you have to stay tuned to find out but a big part of southampton's claim to fame is that it was home to a lot of the crew and the guests on the titanic so we got to go to that museum and you're gonna see me <laughs> drive the titanic shouts to smugglers oh we i don't know what they smuggled to get that food on that plate but keep it going you're doing the lord's work then we made it to the sea city museum which again i don't know why it's not called the titanic museum but that's what it is here guys at the sea city museum we got boarding pass so i thought it was very cute because you know it's all cute, titanic cute. themes cute. here we are Hello. tori's first time yes. i'm dragging her out there <laughs> and here we are here. So we'll see how it goes. This museum by far was the highlight of my trip. So Southampton's Titanic story and just sharing and outlining how, yeah, these are the people behind this ship, behind this now infamous tale 
who, yeah, lived, worked, and died together on the Titanic. Tell me in the comments, without knowing what we know now, would you have gone on the Titanic? Oh, these are people who are Coopers and same age as me. I thought that was really surreal. This was cool, too, because you got to see these people over the course of the museum, if they stay alive, if they pass, how they fared on the Titanic. Let me know in the comments how you guys would fare. Would you go on the Titanic? Would you work? Would you leave the UK for a new life? Or would you just be like, nah, it's okay, I'll stick to it. I feel like I would go, I think in a weird way, I think I would go and hopefully just my survival instincts <laughs> would stick in. But nonetheless, this was a very immersive museum, which I love, highly recommend, worth a trip. Really interesting just to see so many different aspects and layers of the Titanic. For example, it broke down in those previous footage. That's the gates, guys. Isn't that so cool? Like, those are the gates from earlier. Basically, just staring and stating the motive behind why so many people were gravitating towards this opportunity. Southampton was down bad. And this is just before World War One as well. So, just things are really bad. The economy, lack of jobs, lack of opportunities. And they saw this one-way, I was say train ride, <laughs> runway boat ride to a new life, to a new country, new world, new opportunities, and they just jumped at it, understandably so. And these are just all different, really cool memorabilia from the ship. So, like, the tickets showing to how luxurious this place was. Oh, my goodness, guys. I had no clue they had all this on deck. They had a gym up in there. They had a pool up in there. I don't know what homegirl's doing, but it looks luxurious for this time period <laughs> in the world. Turkish bathrooms, like, just very luxurious. The kitchens, the cakes that they're baking, all these meals that they're baking, these full-fledged multi-course menus, and these are just showing what the rooms look like. And two, so crazy, they crashed before they left. That was to simulate you entering the ship. So you got the context beforehand of getting ready for the ship. And now this is what it's like being on board, life on board the Titanic, which was really fun and immersive. <laughs> <I already missed. laughs> so guys, stories about the sail of the Titanic. I'm going to go next. I'm going to watch you do it first so I look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is move, move the telegraph handle. Oh, Lord. Oh, this. No, that's press to restart. Yeah, move that. The... I think. Yeah, that's, I thought that's what it is. Maybe. Maybe it's that? Oh, let's not break something. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound right. It worked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it broke in real life, so it would be. Okay. Right. See, I have a cancer, you know, some water signs. So maybe that'll help. <laughs> Probably not. I can barely drive a car. I don't so. think that's on the uh, the resume. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, two stages. Okay. Stage one. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I was watching you do it too, but I forget. <laughs> it's hard. First it of all, because he'd be lying about that map. Is behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we went reverse oh, like forward. Yeah. So that's the head. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to press. <laughs> okay. It is. Oh exactly. <laughs> There's no map. He's gaslighting us. There's no map. Everybody. <laughs> you come from a nautical family. Exactly. Family I hear that line. It's 
She made it to the light ship, everybody. <laughs> the sailor. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Look. You never know. Actually, I went to Southampton. Oh, the Titanic. Oh, oh, oh. That's the Titanic. Oh, oh, oh. They taking you on the next hovercraft or whatever. <laughs> oh, it was a practice run though. <laughs> Had so much fun doing that and did a little photo shoot, of course. Let me know in the comments if you guys would do the same. Would you pick up your nautical skills? Would you practice your nautical skills? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> oh! So, guys, we're Morse code. Okay, New York, the O. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the arm, dot, line, one, two, three, dot. Ooh, okay, then the K, one, two, three, let up. Um, another K, then one, two, three. Okay, not bad, not bad. <laughs> New talent unlocked. I can write a Morse code now. Oh, barely. <laughs> I got the C. <laughs> I got the other. Okay, C in. Do the so <laughs> it's like a halfway message like a the C C N N W C N O oh. <laughs> Mine's like a, a puzzle <laughs> a little riddle. Yeah, I would have got that. That's that's Jenny. You would have got the gist. Yeah. Like, okay, see you in New York girl. <laughs> that was the iceberg. Uh -oh. Very long story uh -oh. to tell them. It was a child that came up to take us. That's wild. Things started getting real once we turned the corner and left the interactive part of just seeing how the disaster started and continued. And again, guys, just so crazy. This was really surreal as well of how the news hit the city of Southampton in a map that's coming up in a second. All of the red dots that you see here marks where someone who is a crew member, guest, whatever someone who was on the titanic that passed lived at one of these red dot at these red dots on this map in southampton so surreal just to see that and just how this disaster really devastated this town and the legacy of it still lasts to today which is really surreal and this is the final result of the people we saw earlier <laughs> there it is, record time. Good morning, guys. It's Monday, the 16th, and I am absolutely freezing. Can you see my breath? Did a win. Oh my gosh. But I made it to the station. And look, look behind me, though. Toys are rest and papers are us. Shook. I think all the stores are shut down back in the States, so it's really surreal seeing it coming in. And now I'm on my way out. It's a nice cheeky little weekend in Southampton. Great to see Tori. Thank you, Tori. I don't think I'll watch this girl, but thank you for hosting me. It was just good just to catch up with someone familiar and, you know, talk about the past and what we're doing now and just bond and stuff. So that was really, really nice. But um, yeah, so I'm here now at the station. I'll show you guys. Do -do 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 -do. And yeah, I'll get back to London town, then go to work, and then get ready for my next country. Spent the night 
with Angeline. He was too drunk to roll in bed. We watch with you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And as always, I'm sending my love to wherever you are in the world where you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.